Okay, today we're going to have a look at rescaling uh, some of the geodome plans. I often get asked, uh, for one reason or another, if I can provide uh, a different size from the standard uh, plan set, um, which I've, I have done up to now, but unfortunately I don't have enough time to um, keep doing this. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you uh, how to rescale the plans for yourself. It's actually really simple um, and uh, it's simple if you're in millimetres, metric actually, a uh, bit more difficult in imperial but this one I'll do metric and I'll probably do another video for imperial. So take a look at this now and I'll show you how to do it in metric. Uh, okay let's have a look. Nope. I'm not sure I understand. Really? Go away. Right, get me some in there. No, come on, will you? Right, what you need is calculator, set of plans. This is uh, the GD27. We have the uh, overview, which shows the uh, overall dimensions, the um, frame sizes, and the door sizes. That's your, uh, what you get. Now, if you want to change the size of this, what you need to do is get a bit of paper. First off, a bit of paper here. Right. Uh, we'll call this, and let's uh, get that out the way for the time being. This is our original size, we'll call that OS measurements and that's 6,005.27 that's the measurement diameter of the dome, we're going to work with that for the time being now we'll call this one NS which is a new size uh, and this is this, the dome size that we want so uh, let's say if we wanted this one to be exactly 5,000 millimeters. It's a five meter, so we're going to reduce it a, a, a meter. It doesn't matter, this works exactly the same uh, if you're trying to make it bigger or smaller. You just put, you just um, have your existing measurements and put in the size that you want. So what you do is you take uh, the size that you want, 5,000, and you divide that by the old size, 6,000 or, or 5.2. Seven. Let's get the calculator out. Here we go. So we have five thousand divided by six double zero five point two seven equals. Right here we go. So the, the scale and factor. We'll call this the scale factor. Scale factor is 0 0.83260203 that's uh, the more decimal places the more accurate you'll be so you might as well go with the the full lot of decimal places you can always round your figures down af up or down after uh, I'll demonstrate here we go so if we take the uh, the diameter, which is six double zero five point two seven, multiply by the scale factor. So we uh, to get the what we'll do then. Um, so you got all, all size here, all size here. Multi time multiply by the scale factor gets you. The new size. So we've got six. We've got the old size. Let's see and, and test it out now. So we times times by zero point eight three two six o two o three equals. There you go. Uh, well, that gives you your, your error factor, which is pretty much nothing. 
you just round that up to 5,000. So you're, you're, uh, uh, you're nothing out pretty much. Uh, but you can see that it doesn't always add up exactly uh, you, and that's why you use as many uh, decimal places as possible. Okay, uh, now what we do is if we, if we took this plan set and we wanted to, to apply the, scale, the same scale factor, so this is to make a 5 metre dome. Uh, I'll keep that scale factor handy. Um, what height would the dome be? Because when you rescale a dome, you rescale, you rescale everything. All of the angles stay exactly the same, they don't have to be changed. All it does is shrink or blow up the dome. So your door, uh, door frame, door will shrink, your, your, your frame size will shrink. Everything shrinks the same amount or grows if you go for a bigger dome. So uh, if we want to make a 5 metre dome, what would the door height be? So we take all, again, all size, which is 2 zero six eight point six six times zero point eight three two six two three equals seventeen so what you would do on the plans is you would scrub that out like that and you put your new one as uh, one thousand seven hundred and twenty two so the height would, of the door would be, let's do door height here, 1,722 millimetres. Uh, you want to do this just really to the, the, the nearest millimetres, absolutely fine for accuracy. Uh, now 1722 uh, door height um, is a little bit low. I like to stay at 1800 if I can. So you might want to say, oh, I'll, I'll push it a little bit bigger than 5 metres. Uh, to get a better door height or put a um, a raised base on it and that would get you that would get you your door height but it's important to remember if you if you rescale something to check all of your measurements that they make sense because if I res rescale this down to 4.5 meters you would have to have a base because that you'd bang your head on the door okay let's look at the uh, triangles because It's important what size triangle. Let's look at the biggest triangle, which is this one here. That's uh, 1262. So we go 1262 multiply by 0 0.8326 equals just over a metre, 10.50. So that, that then, this one here, scrub that out, and you put your new one in as 10.50.7, so I'd probably go 10.51, 10.51 millimetres. So uh, it's often the case, uh, there's, why people ask for resizes is that uh, they say um, my stock material is too sh too short. I need to reduce the size of the dome because uh, it's not um, cost effective. I can't get three pieces of uh, of triangle out of my length of wood. So you need to find out. You can you can rescale by finding out what what you want this to be. Um, you could scale that to exactly a meter if you wanted to, and then apply that scale to the whole to the whole dome. But that's pretty much uh, how you do it. So uh, just to recap, you've got your old size. You, uh, you can do this with any measurement, a triangle measurement or a base measurement or a door height even if you want. Uh, your new size, so you put in the new size and then you divide the new size by the old size. Gets you the scale factor and you multiply the... Um, the old size, anything on the old size multiplied by the scale factor will produce your new measurement. Hope that helps guys. Uh, any questions drop them in the comments box and I'll catch you on the next one.